What's up everyone? So today I'm just going to show you how to get your Vroy model into Unreal Engine 5. So you're going to need this uh, specific plugin and I'm going to have all this in the description below. So once you actually have that, open it up, go and uh, take the VRM for you file and you can, if you have WinRAW, you can actually right click extract to specify folder and wherever your Unreal Engine folder is, you can just go to it. So Part where it says Epic Games, Engine 5, Engine, you're going to want the plugins. So the, you click on the plugins and then you're just going to press OK. If you don't have WinRAW, then you can just go and you can just take the file itself and actually copy and paste it into the plugins folder right here. So once you actually are in Unreal Engine, I already create like the folder for it, so let's create a new folder. This is where I'm going to put my VRM. Go to plugins, type in VRM, and then you're going to click on that. Restart now. Now that it's restarted, go to the content folder, uh, go to the folder you made earlier. You're going to drag and drop your VRM model from uh, Vroid. Once it loads up, then you're going to go and hit the advance and you're going to want the generate IK bone and the UE5 one. So let's make sure everything is the same as I have it. Uh, the materials, the one thing that you can change up, it's whatever one you want your Vroid model to look like. I'll put in the description below of all these different ones and what they look like for my specific model that I'll be using for this tutorial. I'm going to use M2 and Lit though because it was the closest one for mine because some of them just kind of look like clay-like um, and my character has white hair so using M2 on Lit actually makes his hair look like it's lighting up. So, port. All right, now that you got your VRM model into there, you're gonna go to, just exit out of this one, go to content browser, go to characters, mannequins, and click on rigs. You're gonna go to the RTG mannequin. All right, so you're gonna go to the second one and you're going to click on your Vroid one, the one that says mannequin. And you're going to type zero for this. So what you're going to try to do, you're going to try to get his pose to be just like the other mannequins. So click edit pose. All right, now just go up to his shoulders after you clicked on the edit pose. And you're going to move the green one 50, negative 50 for this side. On the blue, you're going to move it 30. Click up here, gonna move it to five. And the green, move it by five for each hip. And if you wanna go all out, you can also do the hands too, um, but not exactly necessary. Go out of edit pose. Save, go back to your folder that had the VRM, go in between a file, right click, click on animation blueprint, and then you're going to click your skeleton of your Vroid model. I already did this and I already named it Vroid Anime Blueprint. Gonna right click, 
retarget, pose from mesh, right click, VRM, spring bone. This one's for the hair. I'm gonna highlight all of them, press Q. It'll straighten them all out. So you're going to click on this one and you're going to get to RTG mannequin. Click on this one. Your meta for your stuff. In the VRM spring bone, you can change the like gravity scale uh, stiffness or the wind to change how much your hair is affected by the wind. So compile and next third person blueprints third person character click on the mesh add skeletal mesh click on it animate class choose your animation blueprint skeleton you're choosing your skeleton now go to the mesh this Visible. Refresh. Now compile. Now you should be able to play as your character. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, or commenting down below. And I hope you have an awesome week. Later.